Hey everyone, Scott here to discuss Memento, starring Guy Pearce, Carrie Ann Moss, and Joe Pantoliano, and directed by Christopher Nolan. Now, I remember this getting a lot of buzz when I didn't before, and I didn't see this until it first came out on video. And I remember certain aspects of the movie after I saw it. So let's get into it. Now, the brilliant move on going back and forth and making the movie backwards, or sometimes, um in black and white versus color good choice Mr. Nolan I'll give you that as well as we go backwards and we switch with to Guy Pierce's character Leonard in some black and white scenes are, are some ways to make the movie fantastic as well as going back backwards with the color because it's the way to go back and forth Guy Pierce ha has all of these word tattoos everywhere in his body. It's actually a really brave thing to do. The visions of Leonard's wife as we're in the diner and later scenes were a good way to learn about his wife in the movie. Leonard's a smart character because he has an arc for finding this guy called John G, or I don't know how you say his last name, who raped and killed his wife off screen. And Leonard tries to get revenge for John G for raping and killing his wife. For some reason has a short term memory loss and tattoos all over his body like he can't remember his contacts and where he's staying and w keeps up under all these old school photos that spits out photographs as you take the picture. Carrie Ann Moss's character Natalie is actually a nice way to have Leonard's story go on the upper side of Leonard helping her to Natalie helping him killing off John G by having his information and like Leonard she lost someone as well the fight scene between Leonard and Dodd is actually a rough fight where Leonard hits Dodd with a wine bottle and where you find out three minutes later he's trying to kill Leonard Leonard is pretty brave to put himself his own tattoos once again, ladies and gentlemen. Joan Pantoliano is a very good actor in this movie. His character, Teddy, is going under two characters. One is Teddy the Cop, and the other is John G. We do find this out at the beginning or at the end of the movie, depending on which way you want to go with it, which is supposed to be the end, but it's, the, but it's again, it's a movie that goes backwards. Is Natalie a manipulator? because the way she talks to Leonard about Leonard's wife and how he beats the shit out of her with one punch and goes to the car and then 30 seconds later he forgets about it. Not only gives Leonard her or her boyfriend Jimmy Grant's off screen by the way and it was in his pocket a coaster and Leonard goes in and Natalie becomes aggressive to Leonard like he was Teddy and Leonard orders a beer and Natalie, as well as Leonard and some other guy at the bar, spits in Leonard's drink in it. Is Natalie coming off as a bitch in that scene? Because that's how I got it, and plus they don't know each other at that point. Remember, it's going backwards. The twist ending in this movie is Teddy is a cop who made Leonard kill this guy I brought up earlier named Jimmy Grants. And Teddy gets to the crime scene, and Teddy tells Leonard about his wife, who is diabetic, and we find out Teddy is Leonard's killer, or that's why he kills him at the beginning of the movie, which again, it goes backwards. Now it's time for the rating. I give this movie a 8.4 out of 10. Christopher Nolan's first twist ending in a full length feature film, following doesn't count because it was a 70 minute movie. This is a two hour movie with a very good suspense and a highly recommend, or I highly recommend this movie to you guys. Now, I hope you can join me next week with Insomnia with Al Pacino. Not the Stellan Skarsgård one, but the one for Al Pacino. So, until next time, see you later.